Hello, everyone, and today I'm going to be continuing and finalizing this super turtle. Okay, so as you can see, it's about 55 minutes into the game, and that's 10 minutes later than part two. And this super turtle is not as great as I think the second part, mainly because, you know, at a, at a later point in the super turtle, most people, um, fighting the super turtle get kind of uncreative and just basically spam their super unit until it works and it never does and then they resign so yeah um but anyway i, th I put some funny parts in here i thought were um kind of entertaining so yeah of course he builds an army of cyclopses to, you know to go join his buddy break dancing but these guys aren't invited and as you can see, uh, my partner again wastes his Mac Blast. It's not like there's two scarabs on the way or anything. So, you know, I'm just, I, I got something to put on but, um, Yeah, right now I'm just being retarded for texting uh, Cyclops. But uh, I noticed this little blob building up on my left in the minimap. And I'm realizing that those are all honor guards. And uh, if anyone's ever seen my vid about how the chief is a monster, um, basically. I am not afraid of any infantry unit, so if you're going to build all anti-infantry, I will fight that head on. Because you know what, in that video I took on a hundred flamethrowers on my own, I'm not really afraid of any other infantry units. So, yeah, especially not honor guards. And believe it or not, building all honor guards and surrounding leader is never a good idea. Um, in my experience, the honor guards have a hard time registering, uh, registering, uh, how to like attack the leader like as you can see that they're kind of just running around on my chieftain so yeah as you notice um the game is frozen and at first we're kind of wondering why did someone resign and oh sure enough the forge is down forge is down that's right ladies and gentlemen um i guess he just couldn't handle it because it just shit just got too real for him <laughs> I'm just kidding. You probably logged out. But at this point, it's all fair game, baby. Um, you know, my Chieftain's three-star. We have fully veterized units. I mean, we're actually in a pretty good spot. And I think this is why c they kind of stop playing around with, like, all grunts and all honor guards and just start building scarabs. They thought that maybe they uh, could finish the job. And I... I, and I I kind of think that they were kind of like, oh, yeah, yeah, we got these guys. All we got to do is build scarabs to win. You know, we're just going to fuck around and build honor guards. Oh, but little did they know that those scarabs were probably worse than these honor guards. I mean, look at those honor guards go. They are just gang raping my chieftain. That's hot. So, yes. Okay, so let me talk about one thing before this video skips to a part that I don't remember. Um, so a certain someone gave me a certain shout out to me, <laughs> and a lot of people started subscribing to me. Um, I have a problem with that actually. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But the, the only problem I have with that actually is, uh, now people are going to expect my videos to be good, and I can't have that kind of expectation and pressure, alright? Um, <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. But, um, yeah. Here comes this chieftain on a mission to take down that turret. And, you know, lately in Halo Wars I've been trying not to question people's logic. Um, you know, because I found out that if you try and understand why people do things, you're just going to go in a circle in logic and you're just going to probably shoot yourself in the face. I've come very close to that in this game. Um... <laughs> I'm just kidding. I gotta stop making fun of other people. I'm really not that amazing myself. I'm probably, like, if I had to rate myself 1 out of 10 as far as skill wise, I'd probably give myself a 6 or 6.5, maybe 7. Um, so, anyway, yeah, they decided to build all anti air, which is kind of a good idea. You see, I can kind of see the logic. Like, they're like, oh, we'll just build all anti air, take out all his anti air, and then we'll, uh, um, you know, we'll do something, I'm sure. Yeah. They're like those underpants gnomes from South Park. They just have step one, and then step two is like blank, and then they just have step three for profit. I think that's a lot of people's logics nowadays, actually, when it comes to, like, strategy games and thinking. 
they they just have an end goal in mind, and they just do something they think's gonna get there, but they really don't know the in between strategy. They're just like, yeah, build scarabs, and then we win. Oh, the in between, uh, I don't know. So yeah, what they could have done actually, and I think if you're ever facing an opponent that has like a shitload of anti air and a super turtle, is actually if you built like um, only t 30 population, which is 15 vampires, and send them over and kill all my vampires. Only in a situation like this, because as you notice, my partner does not have any uh, wolverines, and he was at full pop, so if they killed all my anti-air, they could just send scarabs over here, and or, you know, all banshees after that, you know, something like that, because there's nothing that we have that can attack um, air right now. So, yeah, right now my partner is pumping out a bunch of wolverines, and we'll win this fight. So, yes, uh, but yeah, about that shout out, um, I do appreciate that, trust me, like, I never thought I would ever have someone that I watched videos, you know, all the time, like, actually even, let alone know who I am, actually subscribe to me, so that was pretty cool. But yeah, you know what, I will go ahead and, uh, do myself a favor and not just, uh, put up mediocre videos. I'll actually try and make this kind of entertaining. Um, especially since a lot of people subscribe to me now. So I will actually try and, you know, tickle some funny bones and maybe, you know, I don't even know. We'll just see. We'll wing it. I actually kind of want to put up a playthrough of this game called uh, The Binding of Isaac. And if no one's ever heard of it, it's pretty freaking cool. Um, if you like games like you know, the classic Zelda or something like that. It's basically like that, but a little bit darker. Anyway, but that that that's that's another topic. Right now. Um. So yes, as you can see, my shitty editing <laughs> um, causes a scare to appear with twenty something engineers on it. And we're just gonna go ahead and show um, how these cobras are useless. But it doesn't matter. Whenever you build a scare with that many engineers on it, it's you may think that it's protected, but it's really not. Because that scare can only attack one unit at a time while we have so many units attacking it. It will fall eventually. So, yes. Um, the reason why I'm commentating this whole thing is simply because this is probably something you won't even... This is something you see in a Super Trail, and this is also something you see in a regular game, probably. So, anyway... I hope this is semi-entertaining. I actually uh, just played a Super Turtle today that I think is really fucking badass, and I'll try and upload that. So, yes, look forward to that. And I'm also going to upload some bonus things to how Halo Wars is basically full of fucking glitches. Like, as you saw in the last part, there was a dancing cyclops on my base. That they've had so many weird things happen in this game that I videotaped, and I just I sat down and thought about how this could have happened, and I just simply just tried to enjoy it um one was like my chieftain was flying doing dances and uh some, you know those things that deliver a disruption bomb like just froze in the air for some reason so yeah um i just thought it was just something like that i'll probably do that in my next super trail just have that like a little bonus clip or something so yes, as you can see, the scarabs go down. There's nothing that can stop this three-star monster. He is just out of control. Um, yes. Uh, right now, um, we're just kind of looking around, because we saw a scarab up here somewhere. Um, and we're like, hey, you know what, I'll bring my chieftain up there, you can quad mac, I'll vortex, and we'll call it a day. But this is where, you know, this, if you want to beat me, the simple strategy you have to pull is letting me kill some units, let me get my confidence up, and then I'm going to push those limits. I'm going to say, hey, you know what, if my chieftain can take down 100 flamethrowers, there's no reason why he can't take down 3 scarabs. Um, <laughs> and of course, that is never a good idea. Um, so I, I, I gotta learn to stop taking so many goddamn risks. I mean, the least I could have done was put a damn engineer in my chieftain. But no, I'm like, you know what, I'll be fine. And that's like a huge risk here. I'm like, oh, maybe I can bring this Vortex over to that Scarab. And then I see my Chieftain just lose health like crazy. And I, of course I missed the goddamn circle. I could have fucking lived. But, you know, that piece of shit circle is just never where, it wants, where I want it to be anyway. So, yeah. Um, of course, 
you know, if you ever see me, Super Turtle, there's going to be a chance that I'm going to be rebuilding my chieftain a lot. Simply because I just get impatient or I just think that I am the king of the fucking world and uh, I just really, I gotta stop overestimating the chieftain. I really do. Um, so yeah, this is another scarab. And I believe this is their last attack before they kind of give up. And like I said, like, they just kept, there was actually more video, uh, more clips of them sending scarabs. But I was like, eh, there's no reason for me to keep putting scarabs, getting raped. Um... Even without a three-star chieftain, against two covenant, you should be okay. So yeah. Um, this is kind of retarded to me. You know how I died? My three-star chieftain died to three scarabs, and I don't know. Like I should, I should be, uh, not have escaped the situation. I mean, look how long time we took that. I, I, that's another thing. Does anyone else notice that whenever a unit has like red or black, you know, the black bar health, that it doesn't matter? Like, they, they just seem to keep, like, living. Like, you, it seems to me like they have, like, some kind of, like, last chance opportunity health or something like that. Like, some kind of reserve. Because it seems to me that even when a unit's health bar is, like, in black, they still have plenty of health left. So, yeah. That doesn't really make sense to me. So, um, yes. <laughs> so... This super turtle, yeah, I'm telling you, it's not that amazing. I just thought I want to, I want to at least try and finish it before I upload this other one. That I thought was pretty freaking awesome, and I think that was kind of a good thing to do. Maybe I don't even know. I'll I'll know by how many dislikes it has. Ten. Uh, oh yes, do you see that? I, I'm pretty sure there's probably a delay, but yeah, I sacrificed my son for no fucking reason. And here comes this chieftain again, trying to vortex down this turret. He just, he's got to vortex it down. And I'm just like, come over here. And, and he missed the turret. I think that's kind of what makes him resign. Okay, now this is what makes them all resign. So I'm trying to gain stars, you know, and then I notice this scarab. I don't know how the hell it got right there. And why the hell this fucking cobras aren't shooting at it. But, you know, that's fine. Um... As you can see, the quad mac easily takes that out, and there is nothing to fear. Um, so yeah, <laughs> they actually tried to do what um, S Pro Mitch said to do: is just have a bunch of banshees come to the base and do the sacrifice thing. The problem with that is, though, you kind of have to have a whole base dedicated to that. You can't just like train like one banshee at a time. It's not going to work. Especially when I have all my engineers above it. You kind of have to do it where engineers aren't close by. and Anyway. So yeah, just trying to get my three stars back like usual. Um, makes the game more interesting. And we're just sitting here and we're just chilling and something happens. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure, yep, here it is. The resignation. They realized they could not beat it. And this is why I was so happy. We were so fucking happy because it's like, you know what? We just destroyed two versus three on Exile. True Super Turtle. So I thought that was pretty cool. So yes, this is my one take commentary and it probably was a piece of shit. But hey, you know what? Um, let's just all be honest. You should not expect great commentary from, this, from me. <laughs> I mean... I uh, most of the time I just try and put good content up and then my commentary is more of a distraction. You know, hopefully you guys didn't notice how sh how mediocre the Super Turtle was, at least part three. Hopefully my commentary kind of, you know, led you away from the screen. So anyway, have a good one guys. Bye.